A blessed day to all of you and to all our fellow worshipers in other parts of the world joining us through this live stream. It has been pointed out that uh, in our history, in the history of our faith, and also in the story of the life of the first Christians, that it follows a double movement, what they call the descending movement, sometimes called in technical term in Greek, katabasis, no? the descending moment, movement, and that of the ascending movement and the, what they call the anabasis no? in Greek. No? And precisely in accordance with this experience of Jesus, he, this Paschal experience or what would become later on the Paschal method of Jesus who experienced new life after death, joy after pain, liberation after persecution, this movement. But within these events which sometimes intertwine in such a mysterious way has to become indiscernible, the Word of God spreads itself without stop. The Word of God being sovereign and run its course and penetrates everywhere, especially in the hearts of those who are preparing to listen to the preaching of the apostles and of the evangelizers. Thus we notice the second movement which characterized the history of the early church that this dispersal diaspora because of persecution would become also a moment of diffusion of the, the Word of God. What was seen from its appearance as a threat to Christian faith would become the impetus in the diffusion of the Word of God in other places. Just as the first reading would tell us that uh, with the persecution, they had to leave Jerusalem and in their places of exile, they started to preach the good news, the Word of God. The providence of God, no, indeed, is unfathomable and gives us a a reason to hope that in the midst of the challenges that sometimes we think are so difficult and cause of our downfall or precisely in those moments of our downfall where God can create something new for us. And it is therefore important to be reminded again and again of this beautiful truth of our Christian life, our life of faith, that in every moment when we are connected with God, with Christ, whether it is the cross, suffering, or victory, it is Christ who makes our lives beautiful in His time according to His design for us. May we, as we go through difficulties and trials of everyday life, be assured of this the greatness, the great providence of God 
for those who follow and love Him. Therefore, uh, uh, Paul would say, for example, especially to those who were tasked to proclaim the good news, to proclaim the word, no? Be persistent, whether convenient or inconvenient, no? Let it be every opportunity be for us to proclaim the name of the living Lord, the victorious Lord, Jesus Christ. Amen.